Hi, and welcome to this introductory tutorial for Electronica. Electronica is a VGA application for live performance that allows you to mix and apply effects to video clips. Electronica supports MIDI in and out, and can be synchronized to an external clock for performing the music. OSC is also supported, but currently undocumented. You can find out more about Electronica by joining the user group on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In this video, I'll be covering the basics of the user interface. This is what you'll see when first launching Electronica. This window here is the output window where video will appear. The second window is the splash screen. And this here is the main window where you'll be adding modules and controlling the video output from. I'm going to start by creating a new empty project by clicking on this button. Next, I'm going to resize the main window by clicking and dragging on the border here. You can also resize it from the top border. However, you can't resize it from the sides. Some of you may find this similar to the user interface of the Reason Rack. So from now on, I'll be referring to this area of the main window as the rack. You can minimize the main window by clicking this arrow icon here. Over here on the left of the main window are two preview screens. From the drop down boxes below them, you can select which outputs to preview. By default, the second preview is set to auto follow, which will display the output of the currently selected module in the rack. I find it helpful to set the top preview to the master output. However, as I don't have an output device in the rack, I can't do this yet. These three icons allow you to switch between preview mode, preset mode, and MIDI keyboard mapping mode, which I'll cover in future tutorials, along with this drop down box here, which allows you to choose between the internal clock and external MIDI clock. For now, keep the default selection of internal clock. Below this drop down box is the beats per minute or BPM setting. You can adjust this by clicking on it, dragging it up and down like so. You can also set the BPM using the tap button below. To the left of the BPM display on the master playback controls. For now, we'll only be using the play, pause, and stop buttons, as the others are mostly for use with the built-in sequencer, which will be covered in future tutorials. Below the master playback controls are the new, load, save, save as buttons, and also the property dialogues button and the help file button. Note that the help file is slightly out of date and more up-to-date information may be available from the Electronica Facebook group. At the bottom right of the main window is this arrow icon, which when clicked shows or hides the file explorer slash preview window. Here you can browse for clips to add the modules. Before adding them, you can preview them in this area here. The scroll bar allows you to scroll through the video. You can play or pause the video by clicking the image preview and see the resolution of the clip here. Finally, this is the status bar, which displays a variety of useful information, e.g. errors, file names, and module control values. This indicator displays the amount of RAM available to Electronica and the amount currently being used by Electronica. Note that these numbers will vary from machine to machine depending on hardware. To the right of this is the frame rate of the output. Hovering here will give you some additional performance info in this tooltip.